I had given up on trying to sleep normally. I had given up on, at that point, sleeping in my bed. Sleep paralysis is your brain basically hasn't told your whole body that you're awake. You wake up from your dream, but your body is like, no, you're still dreaming, so you can't move. I was absolutely terrified to lay down and close my eyes. I didn't know what I was going to see. I didn't know what was going to happen. I was born in Miami, and then we just kind of slowly moved further north in Florida up until we got to Pensacola, right there under Alabama. I tried college for a little bit, and I wasn't the biggest fan. I decided I would go ahead, join the Navy, and you know, get just a, a kickstart to my life. My grades were good enough through uh, Corman training that I was able to be a, an advanced radiographer, which is just a fancy term for x-ray tech. While I was uh, in the Navy stationed in Jacksonville, I worked a lot, and at the time when I got there, it was an emergency room. While I was there, you, you see a lot of different things. I remember there was a, a helicopter crash on base during a training exercise, and there were a lot of injuries from that. Somebody came in and they were saying, oh yeah, it was my birthday, and instead of cutting the cake, my girlfriend just stabbed me with a knife. I think things that kind of stick with me were a lot of the infant abuses, um, some sexual abuses, some that had been, you know, shaken. Seeing that kind of trauma, I guess, I ended up just kind of pushing it all down, and I think that's one of the things that, you know, caused me to have the mental health issues that I do. I remember specifically the first time I really had a sleep paralysis where I hallucinated really bad. It was after a, a morgue case where someone had been pushed or had jumped from a parachute tower. That night when I went to sleep, I woke up and they were standing in my barracks room. For about two weeks, every once in a blue, I would wake up and have a night terror, and that person was there. Sometimes my sleep paralysis would be, my ceiling would get covered in spiders, like thousands of spiders would just start crawling all over my ceilings. It was just my brain was like, what can I do to torture myself. I would sleep on the couch, um, just anywhere but in the bed, or I wouldn't sleep at all. He would turn on a YouTube video and listen to that the whole night because silence was absolutely unacceptable, intolerable to him. Ready and call your dog. Smokey, come here, come on. Smokey, come here, come here. Oh, good girl, yeah. My psychiatrist was the one who originally um, mentioned service dogs to me and she gave me uh, a name. One of them was Southeastern Guide Dogs and I reached out and, and heard back from them pretty quickly. They matched me up with Smokey uh, after that year. Hi, are you helping me? Can you tell I'm stressed out? <laughs> it's a good girl. When Smokey first came home, it was a really joyful event. When I first got her, it, it happened pretty quick. I think maybe the first or second night I had her that I did fall asleep. That's a good girl. That's a good girl, yeah. You're such a good licker. It was pretty much like a, a light switch. I, I went to bed and slept like a normal human being for the first time in, in years. I remember when I asked them, I was like, my dog's not gonna lick me a ton, right? And they are like, no, no, yeah, if you don't want a super licky dog, we won't get you a licky dog. And, and now I have the lickiest dog of them all. What are you doing, huh? What are you doing, yeah? Are you trying to wrestle me, huh? But I've kind of grown to like it, actually. It's kind of uh, like a comfort. Smokey in her coat is very business. She's very focused and driven when she's in her coat. When we go in the backyard, she is an absolute athlete. Good 
girl. She's a very jealous girl. It's been a long day at the salt pads. Anytime he hugs me, especially if he gets home and attends to me first, she'll come in between us and try to get in between our legs. <laughs> she likes to be the, the focus of attention. It's very funny. Yes, can I help you? It might start a fight, but I did get the cutest dog that they've raised. Um, bar none. I'll, I'll take that one to my grave. She's the cutest one. Yeah, that's a good girl. That's a good girl. She likes butt pets. Since I've gotten smoky now, I can look forward to going to sleep and getting, you know, a good night's rest. My biggest thing is just a huge thank you to, to everyone that, that works there. So much gratitude I can't really convey, honestly, um, for, for what they've done, for, for getting smoky to me. It's, it's you know, there's, there's just too much to say, but thank you is the biggest thing I can say. <laughs> Double your donation today in support of veterans and the dogs by their sides. Give to the Heroes Challenge at guidedogs.org slash heroes. Now is the time to remember There are two of us facing our fate And though you've been tried by the burdens you bear I'm here to carry the weight you can count on me You can count on me Ready and willing Whenever you need I'll gladly follow Or I'll take the lead Count on me View every episode of Dogs of Destiny at guidedogs.org slash dogs of destiny.